Hello everyone, today I'll be talking how can you manage your Apache Kafka services parameters on Ivan. Your Ivan for Apache Kafka services already comes with a set of configuration properties that define values such as the public access to Kafka, uh, the default replication factor, and many others. So I'm, we're going to be showing today how can you change those parameters. Let's see how it's done. So here we have logged in in the Web Ivan console, and we're gonna be changing the parameters of one of the services that's already running, is the blue dash Kafka. In order to do that, we're gonna be clicking in the service in the overview page. We're gonna be scrolling down until we find the advanced configuration. And here you can see it that we already have some information here that if you change those parameters, it may land uh, to restart your service. Uh, this can happen because some of those parameters, they will only take place once that your service is restarted. So we already have some here by default that we could change, but in order to see the other parameters, because there are several, we can click in add configuration option and then we can scroll down and you can see it here, all the possible parameters that we support for Kafka. And once, for example, I'll just pick one here, uh, public access to Kafka Connect and I can enable it and I can save in advanced configuration. If you have questions about where, what is some of those parameters, you can find information here uh, in each one of them. You can see what is about it and so on and so forth. Now I will show you how to do this from the command line. Uh, so as we saw already how to do it from the Ivan console, I'll be showing how can you do it from the command line. If you don't have the Ivan client installed, I will add links here that you'll be eas uh, easily you'll be able to install it and run. Uh, right now I already have it installed and I also already have logged in. The first thing that I will do is actually to set the project. Uh, which my instance is running, I want to be using that project. So I will do event project switch dev advocates. As you can see it here, I was able to set the project to the one where my instance is running. And uh, the next step is actually to try to understand what par which parameters are already there and what are the values that they are set to. So we are, we are looking for the blue Kafka instance, right? So we're gonna do AVN service get blue dash Kafka, oops, Kafka and dash JSON. So we can see it. So if I scroll up, you already see here the values of the parameters and we can pick one of them to try to change. So let's change the public access. Right now you see it's set to true and I want to set to false. So in order to do that, I need to check actually if this parameter is changeable, it's customizable. So I can run this command, event service types dash V. I'm only interested in the Kafka service, so I will do a grab here. And I'll be looking for this parameter if it's listed here, uh, so I could be able to change it. And I already be, I'm already looking into it. Uh, I already can see private here. Public must be here too. Okay, I found it. It's dash C public underline access and so on and so forth is a boolean. So we already saw that it's set to true and we want to set to false. So I'll be copying this. In order to do the chain, I will do avn service update service name. So it's blue dash Kafka and dash C and the parameter. So it's set to true. I'm going to be set to false now. So let's see. And in order to check that, we can just go and see it here. So if we go up, we can see that now it's set to false. So we have succeed. Uh, and we can do this with other parameters. We just need to check uh, if this parameter is actually customizable. Uh, but you should be able to change with the same process. So as you see, it was pretty straightforward. And if you are curious about uh, how more, to understand a bit more of these parameters, we do have a developer documentation. It's called the developer.ivni.io, which I'll be linking here. So you can uh, go here in the Apache Kafka there, many interesting articles here and one of the one of them is actually you can find all the advanced parameters here 
You can see that there are some description, some examples, and you can even contribute because it's open source. So I hope you enjoyed. Uh, I hope you learn how to manage your Kafka parameters from the console and also from the command line. And I see you next time. Bye.